Hello everyone. Been asked a few times how to be copyright, and when I did mine, a friend of mine did mine for me, and she got it from the Get Out of Debt Free dot org site that was before it got take took an over course of the, that's been removed now. But I recreated this yesterday using a free program called GIMP. It's similar to Photoshop. And you can make it smaller, you know, just to whatever size you want. But that's just was just big. Make it big and then shrink it. I need to get GIMP. Normally, when you get GIMP, it comes like that. If you want it all together, you click the single window mode, and you're going to need paths for this and layers. If they're not, if you've not got these, click that tab, add, and then select which ones you not you've not got. This is just what all the tools are going to be using. So if we start, create new. 1600 by 1600 and then we want to find put some guides in to get the middle so image guides by percent 50 percent horizontal and 50 percent vertical Next, we need the ellipse tool. And then left click on your mouse and keep your finger on it just to make a circle. And it's control and shift and let go. And then get that circle in the middle. Probably shrink it a little bit. And then it's select to path. And then select again and none. We go to the path we've just created. And we just click that to turn it on. And I'm going to add a new layer because I'm going to put the text in. So you just click that plus sign there, add new layer. Uh, go to the text tool, which is the A, and change the colour. I used purple, and you can use green, I think, blue, whatever. Change the font size to at least 100, and have a bold font, whatever you're going to use. And then just put your text, click at the top, put your text in. that one add another new layer and then copyright at the bottom that's your text done but now go to the top one and click right click text along path now you go to the paths, right click on that, add to selection, we need another new layer, that's because we're going to fill the colour in, so you go to edit, fill, fill background colour, select none and we can actually get rid of that text now uh, path get rid of that 
back to layout and now we need to rotate this so we use the rotate tool just click on that and then rotate the text it's about level you can you can alter it if it's if it's not it looks about right so we can now get rid of that text so turn that text off now we're going to do the same with the copyright but we need to reverse it so we need the flipping tool and then select path select this right left right click layer text along path and that's where it needs to be this side so again we go to the paths right click add to selection oh, we need a new layer as well sorry that's for to add the color so another add a new layer edit fill with background select none and then we need to let's turn that back we need the rotating tool again select and move the copyright underneath rotate go to the paths delete that path and And we can also delete the circle as well and the copyright so now now we need to put it in a circle we can add another layer and we can put the date in So if we go and then we need the grabber tool just to move that text get it in the center like that Add another layer we need the eclipse tool again we're going to put it in a circle that's left click on the mouse make it a bit shorter And then we're going to fill the get the bucket fill tool. I'm going to keep it this colour. I'm going to fill the background in, but we need to select and invert it. So we're filling that in. And then we're going to add another layer. And repeat the process. circle eclipse tool make a circle
and then this time we're going to click that arrow to reverse it because we're going to put it back to white bucket fill select and invert again and then we've got white select none and then you've got your copyright stamp we just need to put the your name in capital letters there and a trademark which again is you add another new layer Uh, switch switch that back text capitals and then trademark get the grabber tool to move the text go back to the text tool go to the TM just double click that and then we're just going to drop drop that to 50 press enter just so it's a bit smaller now we need the rotating tool again Rotate, grab tool, click on it, that's pretty much it. What we need to now to do is remove the guides and layers well not the layers we need to merge all the layers there we are merge visible layers so click on click on that right click merge visible layers merge so we've now got one Let's remove these guides remove all guards and then you can you can size this to whatever size you wish scale image make it 100 leave that as it is and it will scale it 100 squared And that's pretty much it you can then export these if you ever make a mistake if you control and Z it takes it back to the previous as it was but then to export you export it and there's two ways you can export it if you export it as a PNG it gets rid of the white background as well so you've just got the text to desktop
There you go. So you can then shrink it. Like I said earlier, and export it the same, but label it differently, export as. Small. So that's so how you do your copyright stamp using GIMP. Doesn't take long once you get the hang of it. Just you just have to pause the video and take your time with it. 